Florida, mainly down in the Florida Keys. That's where we find local 10 Samir Nefsi with a closer look at the conditions there. Now, despite the Keys not being in the direct path of Hurricane Helene, we know her impacts expected to be felt here. And of course, they were that in terms of rain, high winds and storm surges. Let's go ahead and take a look. Of course, you can just get a feel for uh, the gust of wind and those waves just crashing into the southernmost point there, creating quite a scene. Now, flooding was quite a concern uh, today. This is Whitehead Street. You can see some of this water holding on. And if we just look over the bend on South Street over there, same situation. Go ahead and take a look. This is a lot higher than normal. Overnight floodwaters taking over the southernmost key. This was the scene when we arrived shortly before six in the morning. We're at South Street and Duval. Flood water covering the street for at least a block in each direction. This after strong winds and waves battered the lower key from Duval Pocket Park and the southernmost point. Uh, we make sure we have our water bottles filled up. We have our food prepped. We have uh, propane in our grills for in case the power goes out. Um, our big concern is our trees. They oftentimes come over on top of our houses. Come daybreak, residents jumping into action to clean out clogged storm drains. Cada año pasa lo, lo mismo. In Spanish, she says this is a reoccurring issue and nothing is being done to fix it. And again, good news, the water appears to be receding. Of course, some areas still have some uh, water laying in the street, but no reports of any damage throughout the area. That's the very latest from Key West. I'm Samir Nafsi, Local 10 News.